Here he comes again, never mind. Like an express train, never mind. He has got a favorite trick. He moves boulders at a flick. With his shovel and his pick, but never mind. So never We'll keep a welcome in the Glen. Oh, you know? no! <laughs> oh, no! You, you, you filthy devil! You should talk, you got muck all over you. <laughs> what have you done to my car? If this had been the olden days, boy, this would have meant a duel. For what? To the death, swords and pistols. Hey, that's a good idea, Tuck. Why don't we have one? Oh, don't be so tough, man. How can you have a duel? It's against the law. Uh, you're frightened. I'm what? Yeah, you're frightened. <laughs> the Welsh dragon's got the drops in. <laughs> <laughs> you just choose the weapon, the time and the place, boy. Right. Eight o'clock tomorrow night in the club. Right, I will be there, boy. I will be there. People <laughs> <laughs> will come in, they'll suck. Good boy. <laughs> what are you doing now, Selwyn? It's what we call circuit training, Morris. Except I'm not moving about. But I'm, I'm doing two things at once, you see. I'm not just doing press-ups. I'm doing deep breathing as well. It's good for you that, you know, it, it gets all the oxygen to your brain. There was an article about it in the Times. Uh, I'll uh, put the kettle on. Uh, I think I'll have a rest. I think I'm getting too much oxygen. Uh, <laughs> it's good for you, though, Morris. You know all this exercise. It helps you concentrate. And I've got to get my concentration in. Good nick now I'm having a duel. Hey, you're fighting a duel? Yeah. We'll under my father's. Who? Clive the Tuffy. <laughs> Yeah, you know, he's on the committee, you know. I, I, was, I was digging in my hole like, and, and, and he parked his car right where I was chucking my muck. And he went round and round and challenged me to a duel. Get off, you'll kill him. I won't, we're only playing dominoes. <laughs> dominoes? <Yeah. laughs> he, he, he let me choose the weapons. Uh -huh. Hey, it's in tough coming on though, my hole, you know, it's getting deeper and deeper. Uh, why exactly are you digging that hole, Simon? Practice, keep yourself in trim. But I, I've started going under the foundations of the club. <laughs> hey, they reckon all the walls are cracking. But I'm, I'm going so deep though now, I'm, I'm starting to bring up archaeological fragments and geological strata. And where did you read that? Time's colour mm. supplement. <laughs> no, it, it's great, honestly. Th people think it's just, just a lot of old rubbish I've dug up. Well, what do they look like? What does what look like? Well, these archaeological fragments and geological things. You can't say it, can you, Morris? Archaeological fragments and geological strata. That's it. What do they look like? Looks like a lot of old rubbish I've dug up. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, didn't I? No, I'll see you later, Morris. Right. I'm going around the club, have a few games. You know, get the feeling of the dummies. I might become another Boris Spassky. He plays chess. Uh, well, I, I mean Yuri Geller. He bends things. So do I. Come on, Morris. Right, 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 right. Final and deciding leg, Clive to play. Hey, <laughs> magic. Carl, let's have another pipe for the champion. Right, hey, send us another bag of nuts, will you, there, Raymond? He's going to stop talking, referee. Best of order, please, right. Selwyn. I tell you something, hey, you know, I told them I need to have coming on. I've dug up enough archaeological fragments and geological strata to fill 50 buckets. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm just like, my mum's not got 50 buckets, I think I shall have to put it in the bath. <laughs> yes, Lovely it magic. Up. Where's my nuts? Get me nuts. <laughs> Great. Get a bit of oxygen right. going now. Do you want a nut, Taft? I did ask you to ask him to stop talking. He did ask me to ask you to stop talking. Right. I'll stop talking and I'll tell you what I'll do. I will play a blank three. How's that? Yes. 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 Can't go. No, I know you can't. So I'll play a double three. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I still can't. In that case, I'll play a three six yeah. and you've gone. And that's yeah. going to I'll buy you another. Were, were it bitter or, or were it mutton cooking? I don't want to drink from you! I'll have a bag of nuts then. 
Do you realise what this man has done? I'd say at a rough glance, he's induced a slight state of collapse into that table. <laughs> I am going to send a formal letter of complaint to the committee about your behaviour. You are a nuisance. You are a vandal. You are a desecrator. I'm not. I don't like coconut, do I? <laughs> and I will not rest until I have you barred from this club permanently. <laughs> I, uh, I think I've upset him. <laughs> They can, they can have me on roll 17. They can have me on roll 18 and all. <laughs> My hell. They can, they can bar me for years. <laughs> I'll have nowhere to go. I, I shall have to stop in every night. You're not stopping in. I couldn't stand having you under my feet every night. <laughs> well, you, 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 could, you could go to the Women's Institute. <laughs> No, I can't. They think I fiddled the homemade jam competition. Well, you did, didn't you? Did I act as like it was him putting gollywogs on all the jars? I thought it would help, you know, I thought it would make it a bit more authentic, like. Any road, you're not stopping in. Well, what else can I do? Well, there's only one thing you can do. What's that? Worry about it. <laughs> Next item on the agenda. Disciplinary hearing, S. Froggett, Esquire. Disciplinary hearing, S. Froggett, Esquire. Oh. Scarsdale's home for wicked women. <laughs> There's nothing hilarious about that, Raymond. A man's membership might be at stake. Send Mr. Froggett up to the committee room. So, Wynn, prepare to meet thy doom. The six angry men are waiting you up there. Yeah, you might as well take the ale up as well and save me legs. I'm a bit worried, you know, Raymond. I mean, I mean they, they might ban me permanently forever. I oh, don't worry, shall we? Ask them about the one-armed bandits. They know about the one-armed bandits. I keep pulling the handles off. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it, it's one of the things they want to see me about. I know that. But ask Harry, our worthy honorary secretary, why we get breakable one-armed bandits from incorporated automatics instead of the ones with strong handles from fruit machine scaffolded limits. I don't really know what you mean. You don't have to. Just ask him. Take the beer up and ask him why we don't get our one-armed bandits from Fruit Machines Castleford Limited, and then you wouldn't be able to smash them. Right. And Harry wouldn't be able to cover 40 quid a week back hand, eh? From Incorporated Automatic. Uh, I brought the ale up. Uh, that's the steward's job. That's what they're paying for. Would, would, would you like me to pass it around? Yeah, just put it down, put it down. <laughs> Next item on the agenda. Complaint by Mr C. Meredith against Mr S. Froggart. Could we have the gist of your complaint, Mr Meredith? Yes. <clears throat> Mr President, I have circulated this list to all committee members of the items of club property that have been destroyed or damaged by S. Froggart during the past two weeks. One domino table, one dartboard, the one arm bandit, and the presentation kiss. And one of the urinals. <laughs> Mr. President, this club cannot afford to have this man as a member, and I propose he be expelled immediately. There's no question about it. He's costing us a fortune. He's right, you know. <laughs> we can get rid of a month's profits in a single night. And as a matter of fact, I've been having a meeting with the directors of the Incorporated Automatic, and they're seriously thinking of taking the machines out. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> and if you want to see what difference that will make to our balance sheet, I have the figures here in this file. I don't think there's any need for that, Mr. Secretary. We are all aware, even grateful for the beautiful contract you've acquired with Incorporated Automatics on our behalf. Thank you, Mr. President. I do hope that the punishment meted out to this member, Mr. Froggett, fits the crime. Hear yeah, yeah. him. Of course, I have no jurisdiction, but I suggest he be banned from the club for at least a period of one year. Life. Better still. He's right, you know. Right, gentlemen, we'll take a vote on this. Sure, hands. Carried unanimously. Mr. Froggett, have you anything to say before we disaffiliate you? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I've got to ask Harry. I, I, I mean, I've, I've got to ask our worthy honorary secretary why we get them weak one armed bandits from Incorporated Automatics. Because <laughs> you can get them from Fruit Machines, Castleford Limited, and they're ever so strong, and I wouldn't be able to pull the handles off. 
Is this so, Mr. Secretary? Well, possibly, but the profit differential plus the initial deposits required for the temporary and permanent rental from the conveying company would, at this particular point in time, make changing non-viable. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Harry, but the handles keep coming off them from incorporated automatics. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I haven't finished yet. Sorry. However... Upon reflection, I realise that I have no vote and it is up to the committee to decide. But I think, gentlemen, that you're being a little too harsh on Selwyn. And I propose <laughs> that a reprimand for his future conduct will be quite sufficient. He's right, you know. He's <laughs> right, gentlemen. We'll take a vote on that. Sure, Vans. <laughs> Carried unanimously. Oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> Reprieved! Well, how did he get on? Censured us to my future conduct. <laughs> Verbal warning. Uh, Give us a pint of cooking. Hey, what, what happened then? Hey, I uh, blinded him with science. I, t I told him about the one-armed bandits being too weak. I've been meaning to bring that up for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> that was a stroke of genius. What made you, what made you think of that? <laughs> they, they could do with me on the committee, you know. I, I'd soon get things going. You're already doing that. The dark boy's gone, the presentation case is gone. <laughs> Here. Well, that's not a bad idea. Why don't you put yourself up? Put myself up for what? For the committee. Get yourself voted on. I could do with an ally in the corridors of power. <laughs> hey, that's great. Hey, hey, hey if, if I got voted on, Raymond, I, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, just, I wouldn't just have to be in the, in, the, uh, in the corridors, would I? I could get right inside the room. Hey, that's magic. <laughs> 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 I'm going to bring this up at the first meeting. <laughs> 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 <laughs>